guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit something different for me. I know you've had a whole year of me just doing project pans, but it is something that I wanted to come on and do. Last December, I made some goals for the whole year of 2020 that I wanted to achieve. I had lifestyle goals and I had panning or makeup related or beauty related goals. And this is basically an overview of how I did with regards to my panning makeup or beauty goals for 2020. I will do a separate video for the lifestyle goals and I also so we'll do the same video for 2021 so you'll see those go up on my channel at some point but this is just for how I did in my 2020 goals. So the first thing that I have on my list is to get £2,000 worth of empties completed. I have not achieved that. I'm filming this in November because I have a lot of videos to put out in December and I wanted to make sure that I was able to provide them all. So I'm filming this a little bit early, but at this point I think I'm at 1,100 pounds worth of empties and I am not finishing up 900 pounds worth of empties in November or December. So I'm going to say that I did not achieve that. So I basically failed that particular item. The next one is update my low buy monthly, keeping a track of my budget, what I'm buying and am I using the items? So I did film my low buy every single month. It's now changed into a no buy, but while it was a low buy, I did film it every single month. I also kept a track of how much I was spending for my no buy restricted items. In my last video, I said that I wanted to track everything, all of my spending, which I started doing and then completely forgot that I was supposed to be doing it. So I did it for like two weeks of January and then haven't done it the whole year. But what I was doing was tracking how much I was spending in terms of coming on here and saying, I, this month I spent 30 quid on this and show you, showed you the item. I did do that. So I'm considering this goal half done. Am I using the items? Some of them I'm using, some of them I'm not. I'm not keeping a track of how many times I use those items. So that's something that I consider to be kind of like a failure, I guess. But I did come on here. I did update monthly. I did show you what I got. I did keep a track of my budget in terms of, I didn't write anything down. I just had the receipts here and I was just like, oh, I managed to stay in budget this month, but at least I did it. So calling that one a win. The next one was as many project pans as possible. Now I feel like I could have done more. I definitely feel like I could have done more. I felt like towards the end of the year, I was doing significantly less projects than I did at the beginning of the year. And there were some projects which never made it to the end of the year. So that one, again, is kind of like a half achieved thing. I don't, I wouldn't give myself full marks, but I'd give myself like a B plus. Quarterly inventory, I did. Every single quarter, I gave you an inventory, apart from quarter four, because that ties in with quarter one of 2021. So you will receive that in quarter one. There wasn't any point in doing a quarter four in December and then doing a quarter one in January. It just didn't make sense. So I will give you a quarter floor slash quarter one, but I did do one, two, and three throughout the year. So happy with that. That one's achieved. Pan and everything, I did. So pan and everything started, I think, December last year. It was basically the whole whole concept was to hit pan in everything in your collection. And I actually have hit pan on quite a few items within my pan in everything this year. So I'm really happy about that one. Get through my teas. Didn't get through all of them. Got through quite a bit, but I did also buy quite a few like earlier on in the year before I went on my no buy. So I could have done better with that. The next item was push hard on using stuff up. I feel like I did that for the first six months of 2020 and then basically hit the same slump that everyone else did and just went, yeah, nah. And then the rest the later part of 2020 was just basically a complete write-off. So hopefully in 2021, I can actually keep that going throughout the entire year. Use up hand creams. I did that. I actually did that. That is one thing that COVID gave us was using up our hand creams. So I did, I didn't use them all up, but I used up way more than I have done previously. Normally I'd use like one, two a year. This year, I think I finished like five, six hand creams. So really happy about that one. And that was the last thing on that piece of paper. The other side is my lifestyle goals. So those were the goals that I wrote down that were important to me that I highlighted in my last video. I did go back and watch the video and make those notes from that. If I missed anything, I'm sorry. I feel like I didn't, but I'm just going to put that out there. If I did, I'm really, really sorry. As I said at the beginning of the video, there will be another one of these for 2021. So I will lay out my goals for 2021 in that video. This was just to basically sign off 2020, give it the middle finger and and tell it where to go and get ready for the next year. Thanks so much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye.